What's up guys and welcome to our brand new deck tech series where we tell you all about the awesome decks you should be playing. In true It Resolves form, we are bringing you the jankiest of all jank in this first episode, but first, a couple quick questions. Do you love modern? Do you hate how much modern costs? If you said yes to both, then today is your lucky day. Zombie Infestation is kicking off our deck tech series and some of you are already rolling your eyes, but hear me out. Modern has been booming thanks to recent reprints and master sets, not to mention how healthy the format is right now. There are decks highlighting every strategy, but most of them are crazy expensive just for the lands alone. Zombie Infestation breaks that mold and is a fun way to start playing Modern with your friends. Let's jump right in and talk about the namesake card, Zombie Infestation. An enchantment that costs one and a black, Zombie Infestation states, discard two cards to put a 2-2 black zombie token onto the battlefield. How do you get so many cards in your hand, do you ask? By casting Treasure Hunt. Treasure Hunt is a sorcery for one and one blue that states, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. Then put all revealed cards into your hand. The idea is by using your four copies of Treasure Hunt, you can fill your hand to fuel your two copies of Zombie Infestation. However, to make that happen, you will need to run quite a few lands, 54 in fact. With 54 lands, you will be highly likely not only to fill your hand with tons of fodder for your zombie infestation, but also find the next combo piece so you can do it all over again. There are a couple of important lands that I would like to point out at this point. A playset of Reliquary Tower is highly important in helping this deck function. It taps for one generic mana, sure, but the key ability is giving you no maximum hand size. If you have the tower out early, you can start digging as quickly as possible for your zombie infestation. Since the deck only runs two copies, there is a chance of you hitting a treasure hunt instead, and you don't want to have to discard all of those cards to hand size. Reliquary Tower allows you to hold on to them until you can turn them into your 2-2 zombie horde. A playset of Contested Warzone also allows you to buff up your horde of zombies before you swing for lethal, and a few man lands like Fairy Conclave allow you to have outs not only to finish off your opponent for a few points of damage, but also protect yourself against oncoming attacks at a relatively low cost. The rest of your deck is simply filled with islands and swamps to make sure you will be adding tons of cards to your hand every time you cast a treasure hunt. There are definitely some lands you could add in to help make this deck a little bit better against certain matchups. Bajookabog would be fantastic against graveyard decks. More man lands like Creeping Tar Pit could provide some extra long-term damage, and you could even add in something like Dismal Backwater as a way to gain some incidental life. I would definitely recommend trying these cards out, but make sure you don't add too many tapped lands to your deck. Ideally, you want the zombie infestation out on turn 2 and to be producing your zombie horde on turn 3, so just make sure you aren't slowing that down too much. With such an all-in strategy like this, you may be thinking about the lack of great sideboard options. The fact is, you almost want to avoid sideboarding with this deck solely because it's such an all-or-nothing strategy. The sideboard suggested by MTG Goldfish runs a few protective spells like Dispel and Duress, but the fact is adding these cards to your deck makes it a little less likely that it will function the way it should. Again, I would definitely try some cards out here, but not go too deep. Keep it simple and keep it fun. Zombie Infestation is an absolutely hilarious deck that anyone can go pick up cheap and have for their local modern night. It will not be winning any major tournaments anytime soon as it is just way too inconsistent. But if your goal is to have fun and enjoy the game on a budget, there's no better deck than Zombie Infestation. Thanks for watching this deck tech video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, we will see you in the next deck tech video.